Hi, back again to see what we can do in Photoshop. This is going to be a fairly simple project, and if you'll take a look at this, you can see that I have placed a white tiger in along with the zebras and the other antelope that are in the picture here. I'm going to show you how that, how that works. First off, you have to have a picture that looks like it'll be realistic. You can see the same picture of the tiger, and this does not look as good as it does in the other. But let's go ahead and separate the picture of the tiger first and, and go from there. To begin with, I did separate this one, and to do that, I'll show you how I did it. I came in and I uh, took my background. I'm going to hide this so you can see what I'm doing. I came over here and I grabbed a hold of my polygonal lasso tool, lasso tool. You can do the same thing with the pen tool. And all you have to do is being in the background layer, you're going to start by clicking and dragging. And you're going to click and drag until you've gone all the way around whatever the object is that you want. In this case, it was the tiger. This takes longer than using a quick select tool, but your results are far better. When you finally get to the end, you're going to be able to take and see a little dot that will appear. You see the little circle that comes up? If not, I'll come over here and then I'll show you the circle that will appear when I get close, and then you can click. Or you can simply double click and it will select the area you need. That's the area that you're going to move. Since I've already selected it, I won't spend the time to select the whole thing here. But I would use my movement tool. And then I can take my movement tool and I can move it into the picture that I want it to go into. If I want it in here, that's fine. Or I can come over to this one here that you can see. And I can place it in. I'm going to delete that layer. And I'm going to replace this tagger in. In order to make it uh, a little bit easier for you to understand, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to come back to my white tiger picture. I will deselect this, and I'm coming over to just the, the tiger that I have. And I'm going to place it up into the file that I want. Whoa, that didn't work out too well. Let's try that again. Why didn't that work? It's simple. I had the wrong layer selected. So let's try again, this time with the right layer selected. Let's bring it up, bring it down. You can see that what I did was I turned it around. So edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Now the next step that I want to make is I want to do a free transform or press control T. And I want to make this tagger small enough so that he looks like he fits. In this case, that looks to be just about right. And I'll place the tagger right here. I'll hit Enter, and it locks it in place. Now, at the moment, it doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a background copy. I'm going to just go to Duplicate the Layer. I'll say OK. And I'm going to place that layer up above. You can't see anything at that point. But what we'll do is we will go to the opacity. And we're going to start to turn down the opacity until I can start seeing the tiger appear. Then on the layer with the tiger, I want to start erasing. So now I can see both layers. I'll take my erasing tool. And I will come in making sure I'm in the layer with the tagger. I will make my eraser just a little bit larger to make it easy. And I will start to erase the area where the antelope is. Now I'm actually on the layer with the tagger, 
so I just have to be careful I don't erase too much. There we go. That looks to be about right. Now I'm going to hide my background layer. You can see how the tiger now appears as if it was in the picture behind the antelope. That's all there is. Left a mistake in so that you can see what not to do and what to do. Thanks, and hopefully this will be a fun video and a fun uh, project for you.